Visual Studio Code. From the outside, it looks like a typical code editor, but from the inside, it's a powerful tool enhanced with plugins that code for you. That is the reason 50% of developers, according to survey, use VS Code. In today's video, we learn useful techniques that will speed up your coding so you can get appraisal from your manager that something is done on time. If you are new here, like and subscribe so your work colleagues can see this video and won't ask you how you did it. If you do not have your Visual Studio code yet, it will be in the description below. So let's begin. Multi replace. Personally, this shortcut saved me so much time. Imagine you need to replace a class name in 10 divs. You will need to manually retype every single one. Click at the text you want to change and keep pressing Command T. You can see that the text is selected and now you can replace it with a new one. Moving and deleting lines. If you want to move your code few lines down, you can use copy and paste. But there is a better way. Another useful shortcut is moving code line up or down with option arrows up or down. There is also a better way for deleting a line of code instead of highlighting the code and pressing backspace. You can click on the line you want to delete and press command X. That will only delete the line that you are currently on. Do you want to delete the whole section? Shift arrow up or down and the command X will get you there. Auto rename tag. Control and click will help you select multiple lines and text in multiple places. You can also use it to change HTML tags, but there is a better way and it is auto rename tag plugin. Simply select HTML tag that you want to change and it will find its pair and do it for you. Also to mention auto close tag plugin works hand in hand with auto rename tag. As you can predict from the title, it will auto close tag for you. Super handy. Most used tool that every programmer will need is a command line aka terminal. You can open your terminal in the panel above, but today we will do it with control shift backticks. You can also open as many terminals you want to. If you add bunch of lines to your command line and you need to go to the beginning, you can easily do it with command arrow left and then if you want to go to the end, it's command arrow right. If you already typed it and you got error, you can clear it with command K and then access the previous command with arrow up or down. Or just type a history and you will see all commands that you used. Simply then press the number and the command gets selected. That's all from terminal for now. We do not want to have it open anymore, so we close it with control and backticks. Command palette. Sometimes working with many files gets messy. You close one file and realize it was the wrong one. Instead of searching where it can be, you can open history of files that you used with command P. They will bring a command palette there. Also you can search files, which is very handy. Having multiple screens open is pretty useful, especially if you are styling and you need to look at which class did you use. With command backslash, you will open another screen. Change files in current slice with control one or control two, depending how many files do you have. In order to change slices, we can do it with command one or command two. Now let's look at how to search. Pressing command shift F will open new search bar. You can search for anything you want within your files. Just press tab and arrow down to go through the files. You can also search in your open file pressing command F. 